Hey ladies, guess what time it is? Time to scrapbook. Hey, welcome to Scrapping It Up. I'm Vanessa Peter and tonight we are going to be learning how to make this uh, notepad holder, notepad slash calendar holder. So, um, yep, I'm going to teach you from start to finish how to make this little cutie. It's a, a great gift for yourself or a gift for somebody else. You know, school is getting ready to start. So, um, yeah, we're going to make it from start to finish, guys. Okay. Oh, welcome. Welcome, Regina. Welcome, Diana. Oh, so excited. I know. So am I. I am. Oh, I, I just love this. Love this, guys. So, um, while we're waiting for people to get on here, let's just do a quick preview of this. Okay? So, we have a calendar here, and it's held with a belly band. Okay? And that just slips right back, right back in here, just like that. Then we have a pocket here. And then we have a pocket here and this is where I'm gonna write birthdays and stuff down anniversaries that I don't want to forget that way I always have them when I need them and then you have a couple of pockets back here and then you have a pocket here and I'm just gonna keep some embellishments there so that way when I write some letters I will have some embellishments to put on my letters you know here's a letter I was writing to my sister and I love just putting little um, embellishments along with the letter and she loves it too and then we have this acetate pocket here and I just cut out some of the um, what was left out from the collection and again you know I can put them inside my calendar I can you know put them on my letter however I want and then that just ties right back up so I hope you guys went to uh, scrapping it up dot com got on my email list and um, I sent out two emails <coughs> today that has the cutting guide for this album I tried to post it inside the group um, not group I tried to post it on Facebook and Facebook right now won't let me upload a file so <laughs> gotta love Facebook <laughs> um, I will try when we get done with class I will try see again see if it upload a file if not what I may do is run it through my um, messenger and then you guys will just comment on that post and it'll take you to um, my messenger to where you can get the cutting guide if you haven't um, already gotten it okay I will give out um, the measurements during class okay but uh, yeah you can go to scrapping it up com sign up for my email list and um, then I'll send you the the cutting guide okay and it has the supply list in here and then it has all the measurements that you need to make this a oh, welcome bunny and brandy and debbie hello and stephanie is here wow uh yeah i'm doing better stephanie i just i gotta really watch it but yeah each day i do a little bit better and better yes hello brandy glad you can make it hun and joey is here welcome and nancy is here welcome guys and welcome sherry oh it's hot in california Woo. it cooled off here so but welcome sherry oh hi mickey glad you could join us and marjo is here welcome and barbara welcome barbara and Catherine is here. Hello. Ah, 
I can't I'm trying to hit the C more and it won't let me do it. Anyway, I think I know what Mickey's saying. You never know if I'm going to be on scrapping it up or uh, scrapping pages in time. Yeah, sometimes it's, it's kind of hard. I mean, most of the time I do all my album making um, inside my group. I do have a group, ladies, of where we make albums and um, decorations. And it's a great group. It's where you can share your photos of uh, stuff that you make. It's called Scrapping Pages in Time Group. Um, Scrapping It Up is my fan page. And yes, I do a few tutorials on uh, Scrapping It Up. And I do uh, Make It Wednesday is where we do 12 by 12 layouts on scrapping it up. So yeah, it, it does, it can get a little confusing, Mickey. But most of the album making is inside the group and then Wednesday nights is Make It Wednesday and that's where we do 12 by 12 um, layouts. So if you guys are interested in the 12 by 12 layouts, I do it every Wednesday night at seven o'clock, scrapping it up. If you wanna join my group, um, I just have three questions and um, answer the questions. I ask for your email, that's optional. You don't have to give me your email and uh, you can, I'll um, accept you inside of our group. And it's a great group of ladies, great group. Uh, welcome Tom Lee, welcome Crystal. And Cynthia is here too. Oh, welcome, Tammy. Welcome. Oh, it's 106 degrees right now. Oh, my gosh, Sherry. Ooh, that's too hot for me. We were that here, what was it, last week? We had a heat index of 111. But it's currently trying to rain outside. <laughs> Oh, welcome, Mary. Glad you could join us. Okay, so this is what we're going to be making. And the notepad is removable. And we will um, do this pen holder. Um, the supplies that you will need to make this. Let me show you the supplies. And I use double ribbon here, and you don't have to. I just done double ribbon just because I wanted it to look fancy wancy. <laughs> Ooh, it rained there this afternoon, Bunny. Yeah, I just sprinkled here and now it's kind of sprinkling a little bit right now. Oh, welcome Shelly and Suzanne. Welcome, and Kelly is here, welcome. She was on my live earlier, welcome. Ooh, you have all your pieces cut and ready to go. Oh, you're on it. You're on it, Kelly. Yeah, good scrapbooking weather. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's the way we had been. And uh, we were dry for quite a while. And then we got five inches of rain last two Fridays ago. We got five inches of rain. Otherwise, it had been pretty dry. Oh no, you almost missed it, Kelly. Oh no. <laughs> okay. I had to I went to Walmart and um I couldn't find the calendar that I had bought before. Like this one. So I bought this one. So my belly band will be um when we go to make this, I'll, you know, I'll show you how, you know, measure your calendar and then you can do your belly band accordingly. And I will show you guys how to do that. Cause you know, this calendar is this size. Here's a calendar that I found, 2016, wow. <laughs> See, it's even a different size. But when we go to make the belly band, um, I will help you guys out because not everyone can find the same size of calendar, okay? So this is the calendar I'm going to be using in this one. All right. So you're probably going to need a ruler, a pair of scissors. Um, you're going to need a pencil. I will be using Scorpow tape to put mine together. You can use glue to put yours together. Um, I probably will be using washi tape again. 
um, ribbon if you want um, to close you know close it with ribbon um, inside a group I can't remember who posted it but they've done elastic cording around it to keep it shut so you know there's lots of options out there I will be using elastic um, cording you can find this in the sewing section it's elastic it's ribbon but it's elastic um, I will be using black cardstock and acetate now if you don't have acetate you can use um, this is like a, a page protector you know that you can buy at Walmart you can use this too I have used this as acetate before because I couldn't find a piece of acetate and I'm like crap what am I going to use and I done it and this does work okay so if you can't get your hands on any acetate you can use a page protector okay you could use a sandwich bag too I've never tried it but I'm assuming you probably could I mean it really ain't no different than this page protector and then I'm going to be using chipboard. Ah, where'd my chipboard go? Oh, here it is. Chipboard. If you don't have chipboard, you can use um, like a cereal box, a, you know, a cake mix box. I would advise to, if you're going to use this type of cardboard, um, I would glue two pieces together and set something heavy on it for a while while it dries but I would put two of these together okay I'm going to use chipboard and then I'm going to use Tyvac which is a, those white mailing envelopes to um, it goes in the spine of the album here and then I used it with the notepad you know with the in and out of a notepad I, di I didn't want it to get torn all right are we ready? Are you ladies ready to start the party? <laughs> I don't see no yeses. <laughs> okay. Oh, welcome, Sandy. Glad you could make it, hon. Welcome, welcome. Oh, I see a bunch of hearts hearts going. Bunny says, yep, she's ready. S Suzanne says she's ready. All right, let's let's get this party started. Okay. Let's cut our chip chipboard and it says it is six by nine and a quarter you need two pieces so when I cut my chipboard I always take my good um, cutter out and I replace it with a dull one I never cut chipboard with a good blade I will always cut my chipboard with a dull blade because um, chipboard will dull your cutter pretty darn quick ladies pretty quick okay so we need two pieces at six by nine and a quarter it almost be better to use a 12 by 12 piece now I'd only have to cut oh well all right, so six, six by nine and a quarter. So let's do this. So two pieces at six and nine and a quarter.
Oh, that's true, Shelly. Good idea. Oh, I got... <clears throat> that is a good idea. Yeah, that's what I should have used as a 12 by 12. <laughs> I just happened to have these sheets laying, so that's what I used. Okay, there's my one. Then this will be my spine piece. Okay, so... And you know, this uh, notepad holder is very versatile. I mean, you can do just about anything in it that you want, you know. You don't have to have an acetate pocket, you know, like I do. Okay, so nine and a quarter. So six by nine and a quarter. Two pieces, please. Oh, I will tell you guys, because we got some new ones on here. <laughs> if for some reason we get cut off, all of a sudden you see where it says broadcast interrupted, I will hop right back on. Every once in a while, I do have my phone plugged in, so we're good. <laughs> but... If we get um, disconnected, I will hop right back on, okay? And now sometimes it takes me a few minutes because I have to set it all back up again. But I will hop right back on. Okay, spine piece is going to be one by nine and a quarter. So nine and a quarter. Nine and a quarter by one. So nine and a quarter by one. Okay, there's our pieces. All right, now grab your tie back envelope. A oh, welcome, Terry. Yes, you slid in the back door. <laughs> Okay, your tie back envelope and all you do is just tear it apart So I'm just going to cut this piece right here. Alright, then you have more left to do other albums. <coughs> I'm just going to cut this. Then I'll stick it in my trimmer. Okay, so now we need the spine piece of the tie back is two and three quarters by ten and three quarters. Okay. Now I make my tie back envelope or tie. I always have my tie back longer than my chipboard, and I will show you why I do that. So now I'm just going to kind of square this piece off. Okay. Oh, I got to get my good, good blade back in here. I always forget to do that sometimes. And then I go to cut cardstock, and it's like, okay, why ain't my blade working? <laughs> okay. So I'm going to cut this down to ten. I'm just going to kind of keep squaring it. So two and three quarters. 
Yeah, that side needs squared up a little bit. So I'm just square getting this all nice and squared up. So we need it at ten and three quarter and I cut it too short. Would you believe that? What did I do? Cut this at I cut it at ten. Crap. Well, I'll save that for another time. <laughs> Is this piece long enough? Oh yeah. Well that'll be for another book. Ten and three quarters. <laughs> oh, leave it to me. I didn't even check to see if it's wide enough. Yeah, it's wide enough. So would we say two and three quarters? All right, now we have our piece of tie back. <laughs> you was gonna just gonna ask me that, Shelly. <laughs> Well, I thought it looked a little short, and I'm like, nah, surely not. <laughs> yeah, surely was. Okay, now I'm going to use my score pile tape. And when I put these books together, I always use score pile tape. Or you can use art glitter glue, okay? I would recommend either or. I would not use um, ATG. I would never put put a book together with this it's great for you know putting paper in your album but to put together a book I recommend score pile tape okay alrighty and there's you know there's other there's red line tape out there, there I mean there's other products out there that's double sided that's you know but I I prefer the score pile tape Now, this one inch piece, spine piece, I'm going to cover it completely with um, score pile tape, okay? I'm going to cover it. We'll have a little bit of gap, but that, that little gap, that's not going to hurt nothing, okay? Just like that. Okay, just like that. Now, I'm going to apply this piece right on top of my tie back. Now, you can get your um, ruler and measure, you know, so it's as exact, but I'm just going to apply mine right on. You want it in the middle. Just like that, and then give her a good burnish. <laughs> Just like that. Okay? Just like that. <laughs> okay, now what we're going to do, these are going to go on here. What I like to do is I run my quarter inch score pile tape, or you can use a ruler, and you can mark a quarter of an inch on each side of this. I just always just use my score pile tape. Oops, I, boy, I got that off. Just put it right up against your chipboard. This gives you a spacer. So when our when we're opening and shutting, you're not opening, you wouldn't want that to butt that right up there because then it's gonna wear and tear on your side. So that's why we put the spacer in here. It give it will give us a little bit more room in our album. Plus it won't wear and tear, you know, on chipboard rubbing on chipboard. Okay. So now what you're going to do, grab your score pile tape, 
and we're going to run it on each side okay each side and I'm only doing the length of my chipboard okay I'm just doing the length of my chipboard then I'm gonna run a piece down here okay on both both ends okay now you want to grab your chipboard and you're gonna put oops I want to use half an inch you want right down along one side just one side and then do the other one okay just like that just like that okay So now what you're going to do, I'm just going to give these a little bit of a burnish, make sure I got a good stick down. Okay. Now what you're going to do, you're going to take off, don't take off your quarter inch spacer tape. Okay. That will come later. Okay. That will come later on. I'm going to take off the two sides. And I'm going to take the tape off my chipboard. Okay. Just like that. What size of tape? I used half an inch here. And usually I use half an inch on each side. But I had three-eighths in my hand. And that's just what I used. You can use any. I wouldn't recommend a quarter inch when you're taping here. And taping your sides. I would recommend three eighths or wider. Okay, three eighths or half an inch. I wouldn't use. You can use quarter of an inch. Just put two strips. Okay. So if that's all you have is a quarter of an inch, put two strips here, two strips here, and I would put two strips here. Okay. Oh, welcome, Roy Lynn. Glad you could join us. And Janet, wow, welcome. Yes, you can use chipboard from a cereal box, J Janet, yes. I would recommend that you glue them together. Now, um, you know, some of your brownie boxes are thicker, um, are thicker cardboard. So you might get by with just, you know, one. If you're using a cereal box, I would probably glue two two of them together now sometimes your paper packs will come and I already took my cardboard out of here but sometimes your um, paper packs come with chipboard in them so check check those guys okay if you're looking for chipboard but yes you can use a macaroni box cereal box brownie box okay Yeah, thank you, Tammy. Thank you. Medium weight's what I'm using. Thank you very much, hon. Oh, yes, Kelly. Yes. Okay. So, I used quarter inch um, score pal tape right along my chipboard. Okay, right along my chipboard. That gives me a quarter inch spacing in between my spine piece and my cover piece. If you don't have quarter inch, you can use your ruler and mark a quarter inch, draw a line so you know where to put that chipboard, okay? But I would at least have a quarter of an inch in between your spine piece and here. Then I just done my tape just from my chipboard to chipboard, you know, from end to end, here and here. 
and then I just added a piece on the end because we're going to be wrapping that up over okay I never used to do that but here in the last six months I started doing that because I, I really like wrapping that um, tie back up over these chipboard pieces did that help you out Kelly <laughs> so yeah I put quarter inch on each side of my um, chipboard and then I added a piece of um, tape here on each end okay and then I added um, tape here and here uh, welcome Connie glad you could join us all right so now what we're gonna do tape side down okay tape side down you're sticking tape tape to tape here you're going to line this up with the bottom of this and the bottom of this if you have to put a ruler here okay you can do it that way put Put your ruler here. Oops, I got a little piece of chipboard there. Or you can use your grids on your mat and lay this right beside your quarter of an inch. Okay. There you go. I laid I laid my chipboard right beside my quarter of an inch tape right here. My other piece of chipboard, I'm going to lay it right up against this quarter of an inch tape right here. Okay? Just like I did this side. Okay? Okay, let's do the other one. Tape tape down and just right beside that quarter of an inch okay and then when you get that done give this a good burnish you want to make sure you get a good stick Just like that. Okay. Now what we're going to do, see, now some people, I used just to cut my tie back, you know, I made my tie back the size of whatever my um, album was. But here lately in the last six months, I have been wrapping that tie back up over and I love that because I think that helps protect you know this the spine of your album plus you know where this comes up over it helps protect it okay so now I'm just gonna grab some tape and I'm just gonna put it right just where right where my this is going to come up like this okay so that's where I'm putting that tape on both ends okay and I don't take I don't take my spa you can take your spacer tape out I don't take mine out till I get ready to wrap my album okay you can take it out now if you want to it's, it's not going to hurt nothing all right I'm going to take my tape off You want to make sure when you're bringing this up and over, you get this nice and tight. Okay? Nice and tight. We might as well go ahead and take our spacer tape out. That's fine. Let's go ahead and take it out before we go any further.
because you don't want to leave this in there. I have left it in there before on accident. Forgot about it. <laughs> so now I'm just going to wrap this around. There we go. Just like that. Give it a good burnish. Just like that, guys. Ta-da! See, that? I think that really helps protect these. Because that's, that's where your album is going to take a lot of wear and tear is right on these. So that's a lot why I like wrapping these. Okay, guys? <coughs> uh, where, where in Walmart did you find the little planners? I just spent 45 minutes looking in Walmart. Um, I went to the office supply um, in my Walmart where the... Um, where the, all the planners are, and um, it's in the aisle where the office supplies, we you know, file folders, um, paper clips, all that kind of stuff is. That's where I found mine at, hun. Yeah, I found mine up on the top shelf, the very top shelf. Down at eye level was all the big ones. I had to look at the very top shelf and find the little ones. Oh, yeah, I mean, it is. I mean, really, it's, I, I hope you try it, hon. I hope you try this. All right, now, we are going to, I'm going to use black cardstock. I'm going to use black cardstock. And so I'm using 12 by 12. So then I need another piece that is. When I over when I join two pieces of cardstock, I always overlap it a half an inch. Okay? I always overlap it a half an inch. So it looks like I need four and a quarter. So I'm using 12 by 12. You can use um, I think even eight and a half and eight and a half, I think think will work. What did I say? Four and a quarter? You just don't want... I'll show you. <laughs> Since this is only an inch, I wouldn't put your joint where you're joining these two together. I would not have it joining on the spine. Have it join somewhere else in here. And I would at least have it an inch and a half away from your spine, okay? So where you join your two pieces of cardstock, do not join them in, in the spine area. Now, if our spine was two inches, okay, it'd be fine. But we've only got an inch here, so I want my joining piece to be on my cover somewhere, okay? Okay, let's see, eight and a half by eight and a half. Let me grab two pieces. Okay, so we, you got to figure half an inch for overlapping. Yes, two pieces of eight and a half by eleven is perfect. I don't know why I didn't think to grab that. I just used my 12 by 12. That was, but yes, two pieces of eight and a half by 11 is just perfect. Maybe that's what I ought to do. 
Oh wait a minute. Nope, nope. That puts your that puts it in the spine of your album. So what you'll have to do, what you need to do if you're if you're using an eight and a half by eleven, cut a piece that goes from here to here. So if you're using eight and a half by eleven, I would cut a piece that is five. Okay? Cut a piece that is five. And then you're going to have a piece over here and a piece over here because you don't want the connection piece in your spine of your album, okay? Did that make sense, guys? Does that make sense? Oh, yes, Bunny. Go. Oh, yes. Go right ahead, Bunny. Please share. Yep, no problem. Oh, why you don't want this? Because this is where um, the spine a lot of times will take, um, with it being such a one inch spine and you put your joint in here, when this is opening and shutting, it's going to take a, um, a lot of wear. It will, you know, it. you're better off putting your joint here since this is only an, an inch wide. Because you're attaching two pieces together, you know, you don't want to take a chance of it maybe coming apart. It'll be better if your joint is on your cover. Um, if you're using your eight and a half by 11, cut, cut one piece at five and then your other pieces are going to be, Your other two pieces, okay, cut one piece at five, and then I would cut your other piece at seven, and cut your other piece at seven. And it might be a little bit longer, if I could do math in my head. You got two inches here. So yeah, <coughs> catch you one piece at five and then your other two pieces at seven, okay? And if you're using 12 by 12, I used one piece of 12 by 12 and then I cut another piece at four and a quarter, okay? <clears throat> All right, so now to join our paper, I highly recommend half an inch. If you don't have half an inch, you're using quarter of an inch, do two strips. You least need to have a half an inch where these are joined together, okay? A quarter of an inch will not, I wouldn't trust one strip of quarter of an inch to hold these together. Always use half an inch, okay? <laughs> That's your problem horrible at math? Sometimes I am too. I suppose I better double check and make sure I'm okay. Yep, I'm okay. Just as long as your joint um, is not in the spine of this, okay, because you're going to be opening and shutting this a lot. There's going to be a lot of use. You know, we're an album, you know, we might open it once and we may not open it again, you know, for a couple of months, okay, but this is a notepad 
holder and you're going to get a lot of wear and tear on opening shut and opening and shutting you don't want your um where this comes together at you don't want it in your spine okay so now what i'm going to do i'm going to use my half inch tape here as a guide to where i want this to go okay so i'm just going to line it right up with my tape There we go. And then give it a good burnish. Make sure you got a good stick on it. Okay. So all together, I mean, it should measure pretty close. I mean, if, if, if you're a little bit longer that way, you can always cut, you know, the longness off. This piece right here is almost 16 inches. Okay. It's almost 16 inches. Okay. Oh, it's 650. <laughs> you was close. <laughs> oh, I've done some stupid things to you, Kelly. Trust me. Trust me. Sometimes, you know, I'm not real fast at thinking if, you know, you know, like doing a craft fair sometimes I really have to, and I have to have a calculator there because if I don't, I'm going to make a mistake. <laughs> okay, guys. Now, we got to cover this. I like, um... Probably most of you it doesn't have the wide tape. I wonder if I shouldn't just show you because most of you do, you do not have the wide tape like I do. Here's my wide tape. That's my wide tape. But most of you probably do not have this. So I'm going to go ahead and just use half an inch and show you how I do it with just using half an inch. Normally, I just use this because it saves time in the video, but um, I want to I want to show you, okay? So with my half inch, I'm going to go all the way around this album. We're taping the back side. I mean, the where the tie back here. See, we're taping this side. Okay. Now, when you're taping this, I'm gonna run tape right along each side of that spacer tape. Okay, each side of that spacer tape. Okay, each side of that spacer tape. Okay. Then I'm going to run. I'm out. I'll tell you what, th those rolls are pretty darn nice, Sandy. I love them. You know, especially, you know, where I make a lot of albums, it really saves on time. Now the reason I like, some people will just show you to do, you know, the edges and that's it. 
the reason I do the inside of my cover like this like this I don't want that paper once you if you just done this part here and didn't do any of this in here you can get a um, kind of like a buckle in your cardstock because your cardstock is not stuck to anything okay you can kind of see a wave in it so I, I don't like that I like my cardstock to be stuck down to something I don't like a wave in it or you know so I like it to be um, stuck down to something and I know it requires a little bit more score pal tape and I know it's not cheap but I prefer not to have oops and I got a little and if your score tape gets a wrinkle in it don't use it because it will show through your cardstock Now, you can use glue for this, and it's to totally up to you. I've just always used score pile tapes, and this is what I'm used to. I know, I need to start learning to use this more. You can also use um, Fabri-Tac, too, okay? Just that mine's pretty well dried up, and I never did buy me a new bottle. But the Fabri-Tac works wonderful for putting a cover down. Uh, welcome, Janie. Glad you could join us. Okay, so that's how I like to cover mine. Okay. I prefer it to be in the big roll, but that I wanted to show you how I do mine. But I, I, I don't like to, you know, I like to have tape in here so that that way I don't get no wavy because you can you can see it I've seen albums I can tell looking at an album if they done this or not all right now here's here's a step that I like to do and it's totally up to you guys but it's one of the easiest ways I found I first put this on here make sure I'm all in line I draw a line around this where this album needs to go okay that way because once you take this tape off it if you you know you don't want to get stuck down like that because you're not going to have enough to cover it here or here you want to make sure this gets stuck down you know pretty well in the middle especially if you're you know if you only had that much to play with from on top and bottom you want to make sure you get this pretty straight but we, we have quite a bit to play with, so that's what I do. I um, mark it out with a pencil where it needs to go. Uh, Sandy asks, has anyone used a different brand double-sided adhesive? I know uh, Gene Genevieve, she uses at um, scrapbook.com the new uh, double-sided adhesive, and she says she likes it. I haven't tried it yet um, whatsoever and I've used the red line tape I hate it because um, you have to use scissors to cut it and that just annoys me <laughs> it annoys me and I don't know why but it does oh you like my sound effects <laughs> Um, you can get the big roll on Amazon.com. I know I should start carrying it in my shop, but I just don't know how I would ship it. Because that big roll is fantastic. I love it. Um, I'm using polar tape. It's very old. Hopefully it will work for now. I've never heard of that, Debbie. Huh. And Re Regina says, I have some scrapbook.com tape, but I prefer score tape. Well, that, that's interesting. Yeah, I, I've never tried 
tried it. I, I do know it is a little bit cheaper than the, the score tape, score pile tape. Yep, I seen that, Debbie. Yep, thank you very much for your order, hon. And I will get that out to you. All right. Yeah, I prefer score pile tape, too. <coughs> okay, now you get to take off all your tape. And, uh, you know, I've used Fabri-Tac. You can get this at Walmart. It's, uh, I think, almost 10 bucks. But um, it works pretty darn good. You know, if you put it on here, and then when you um, turn it over, and then you can burnish it, I mean, it, you know, it lays flat. You don't have bumps in it. So, I mean, even this stuff is good, too. Just that mine's all dried up. And I never did replace it. Yeah, I think score file tape is the best. It's the best I've ever come across. So I find my pencil marks, and I'm just going to lay this down right on top of my pencil marks. I'm going to turn it over, give her a good rub down. <coughs> now I don't, if I'm just going to leave this black and I'm not going to put no paper over it. I don't use my bone folder to do this because it leaves marks. Or, you know, you could tell right where you rubbed it. So I just always use my hand. And I start rubbing around the edges of the album. But if you're going to put paper over it, um, you won't see it, but it does. It, it kind of mars it up a little bit. All right. Now, I'm going to run my bone folder right along the edges. Not real hard. Okay. What we're going to start doing is breaking the fibers down, okay? So what I'm going to do, see, we, you want to break the fibers down when it's coming up over your chipboard because if you don't, if you were just to bend this up and stick it down, it's probably going to crack on you, okay? So what I start doing, I just kind of start bending it little by little, okay? Just a little by little. And I just kind of keep working with it. You don't want to do it all at once because you'll it probably will crack on you. Okay. Just kind of start working it just a little bit. All right. Let's put our tape on. Put some more tape on. More tape. More tape. <laughs> yes, Fabri-Tac is great. I, I really like it. Yeah, it does. Apply it. Take it off. Put it back on. Yep, it does. Fabri-Tac, we'd be done by now. <laughs> okay. I go around my whole album. Then I'm going to go around this edge. And you don't have to go clear to the end because we're going to be 
mitering the corners, okay? So we're gonna go around the whole thing. Yeah, it does take a while to put score pile tape on. It does. And then you gotta peel it all off. You are correct. Keep going around your whole album. All right. Now, one thing that I like to do is I'll grab my smaller tape. And just kind of go right along the edge. And you, you know, you don't have to do this extra piece. It's just something that I do. Okay. There we go. Now, to miter your corners, this is kind of sometimes a tricky part. Now, I know there's other ways of doing it. Um, this is the way that I do it, okay? You can use your ruler, butt it up against your corner of your album, draw a line. Do that to all four corners. Now, if you're using a really thin ruler, you, you want about not quite a quarter of an inch, but you want a little bit more than an eighth of an inch, okay? I'm using a Tim Holtz ruler, and it's, it's just perfect. I use the glitter glue for that spot in between. Yeah, I've done that too, Sandy. I don't know, I don't know why I didn't. I didn't. But it, yeah, I have used glue there too. Saves time. <laughs> okay. Now where you just mark that and I'll, I'll show you. Um um Let me get up here. Ooh. Sorry, ladies, it takes me a little bit to get, get up out of my chair. Okay, see that? There's the corner, and there's the corner of your... Okay. So that's about how much space you should have. It's a little less than a quarter, but a little bit more than an eighth Ooh. of an inch. All right, all right. So now I'm going to cut the other four corners, or other three corners. See, that's why I said you don't you don't have to tape clear to the. I got a little crazy. <laughs> Save on that score pile tape. I'm going to stand up for a little bit, ladies. 
if I can. <laughs> I've never really stood up to, to do this before. So you may notice I might have gotten a little bit louder. I'm closer to my phone now, so I probably will be just a little bit louder. Okay, so now we went around it and make sure that, you know, we got a good stick on it. You know, and I may go a little bit overboard on score pile tape, but, you know, we spend all this time and money when we make stuff, I want to make sure that we're making a good product, okay? <coughs> I don't, you know, you don't want to make something and it te tears apart. I mean, there's nothing more heartening than you make a big album and it, you know, falls apart on you. I mean, we spend a lot of time with these, making this stuff. Alright, so now, guess what? I'm going to take off all my tape. <laughs> so now the fun part. Take off all the tape. How many of you are working right along with me? Yeah, it does it does take time. How many of you are working right along with me? And how many of you are just watching and will make later? I'm just kind of curious how many is working right along with me. Okay, there's all my tape off. <clears throat> Ooh, there's quite a few of you working right along with me. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I mean, I I like to have the replays on all this stuff, but uh as if you've been following me for a while, that doesn't always happen. I can I can't I can say yes there'll be a replay but I can't guarantee it because I have had I've lost a couple of I think three of them one of them is my fault because I was listening to a ball game and Facebook noticed that I was listening to the championship game and could hear it and they shut me down and I had to delete that video <laughs> the other two times I don't know what happened I hit the share button and it did not post on my site. I don't, it went out there in cyberspace and never came home. So it's out there somewhere. I don't know where it's at, but it didn't land on my page. <laughs> Somebody else got it. <laughs> so I like to say there's replays, but not, I can't guarantee it. Oh, you just found a hot live video? Oh, that's cool. Oh, I sound awful, Mickey. Yeah, my, my back is kind of starting to bother me, so that's why I kind of thought I'd stand up a little bit. Oh, you don't have any Wi-Fi at your she shed? <laughs> As I call it, Sandy, she shed. I wish I had a she shed. Yeah. Uh, 814. Yeah, because I don't, I don't want to overdo it because I'm, I'm just now getting to where I'm, I'm starting to get better. It was a rough couple of days. Whew. Rough couple of days. All right. So now what I'm going to do, I always start my long sides, okay? And I, really it doesn't matter which side you guys start on. I just, I always start on the long side. I don't know why. Oh, welcome Donna. 
you slipped in the back door. I didn't know you was here. And Naomi is here. Welcome. I haven't seen you for a long time, Naomi. Glad to have you with us, hon. Quite a few of you are just watching, too. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Watch it, and then you can go make it on your own and watch the video, and you can pause me. <laughs> you can pause me. <sighs> yeah, I don't want to overdo it, that's for sure. I don't want to be back in that shape again. Okay, so what I'm going to start doing, I'm going to start working her and I just use this finger here and I'm just kind of working her I'm not I'm not going to just boop, okay because I don't want it to crack what you've got to do is break down these whoo got to break down these fibers okay that will help prevent I'm not going to say that it, your paper won't crack, okay? Because you, I have done the things by the book, you know, like I always do, and I've had stuff crack. But this will help prevent, or, you know, help, you know, prevent it from happening, okay? So then when I hear it, just where it's starting to stick, then I can go ahead and push her down. Then I use my thumb folder. Make sure I got a good stick. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm just going to start pushing her over. And I just take my time until I hear it. It's kind of picking up. My score pile tape is starting to stick. And then I just go ahead, use my other finger, and get her down. That's the easiest way I found to do it. Okay. They say heat dries your paper. Wow, I didn't know that, Sandy. Yeah, I don't want to get worse, Kelly. That That's for darn sure. I was in pretty bad shape there Friday and Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And I found out, too, guys, and I'll pass it to you guys. Um, when I went back to the chiropractor Friday, um, he told me I had a twisted pelvic. And so I, I asked him, I said, so do I use dry heat? Because I'd been using my dry heat pad. And he said, no, don't ever use a dry heat pad when you have a back injury. Use moist heat. He had me use ice the first day, and then the next day start using moist heat. Because that dry heat will inflame your muscles and won't let your um, back stay in place. So I found, and when I started, you know, doing that, I started feeling a little bit better. Oh, thanks. Oh, welcome, Marcy. Glad to have you. I haven't seen you for a while, Marcy. All right, so now we have these corners. And this is one of the hardest parts, guys, is these corners, okay? It's, it's It takes a while to learn. It took me a while to learn how to do it, too. It just, with practice, I mean, it, it, it gets better. Now, I know there is different ways of doing this. And this is just how I do it, okay? I use my bone folder and kind of push it in. Okay. Oops. A little bit different doing this standing up. <laughs> Let me see if I can. 
I just brought it in just a little bit. So what I done, I just, my bone folder and just brought it in. Just like that. And then I just kind of went like this. Okay. So then I start doing the same process. Folding this over. And then I give it a good burnish. There's my corners. That's just how I do it. I know there's um, other crafters out there that do it differently, but I, I like it to do it this way. So I just, my bone folder, just bring it in. Okay, just, you're just bringing the little corner in just a little bit, okay? And then I just always do that. Let me see. It's just brought in just a little bit right there. So then I just start bringing her over. Just like that. <laughs> Listen to us for this. <laughs> I know. You guys are all the time telling me that. And if I'd listen, I might not be in the shape that I'm in. <laughs> okay, so now what I do, oops. I just kind of lightly, just kind of go on top of my album, just lightly, guys. Okay, you don't want to, just lightly. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to kind of go here, and just kind of start bending it up. Again, I'm breaking down the fibers. Never grab this and bend it. Never, ever. It, you are asking for it to crack. You've got to break down your fibers first. Okay. I'll show you. I'll get that album I done. It was sickening. I made a huge album. And um, I tested the paper. I always test paper before I use it. And it didn't crack. So I don't know what what happened. It was maybe just one of those fluke things. Now I can bend it. Voila, looky there. We have... Yay! Let me grab that album, show you what it looks like being cracked. Look at this album. Look at look how much work went into this album. It is one, two, three, four, five, six pages. Look at that. It's a four inch spine, I think. No, it's only a three inch spine. But look. Can you guys see it? It cracked. See that right along there? It cracked on me. That just made me sick. Both sides cracked on me. So now I've got to put some burl. I'm going to, if that ever happens to you guys, you can put like burlap on it. You could put packing tape on this. And then, you know, you could wrap burlap around it or some type of fabric around it. But, you know, there's a lot of money right here. And I have, I do not know why that cracked. 
I done everything that I normally do and for some reason it cracked on me yes there is Bo Bunny is one of them you you don't want to run Bo Bunny now is Heidi Swap Heidi Swap usually is really good paper but yeah Bo Bunny is one of them that you do not want to be using on an album period because it will crack every time on you oh color some tie back oh <gasps> sandy you are a doll i had never thought about that thank you i love it that would work perfect thank you very much Oh, I'm glad you got to see that corner better that time. Yeah, Prima's Prima and Simple Stories is my two favorite ones. I love Prima and I love Simple Stories. Bo Bunny, I used to love Bo Bunny. I don't like their papers anymore. And Echo Park, Cartabella. Echo Park is getting too childish. I don't like it. You know, they used to come out with some beautiful, but it's, it's getting, a lot of the papers are getting too childish anymore. I don't like it. Yes, thank you very much, Sandy. That was an awesome idea. Awesome idea. You were thinking. Okay, now we got this. <laughs> oh you've been in New York visiting family wow that's awesome yeah graphic 45 is gorgeous paper but yeah they have changed theirs too yes oh welcome Geraldine. glad you could join us hon oh your Facebook didn't let you know I was on ugh but welcome, Deb. Oh, Stamperia is beautiful. I've never had any, but I have seen it, yes. Okie dokie. Now, I'm going to be using Love Notes for this collection. This, this collection here I used was a Prima's Wild and Free. Now, I'm going to be using um, Love Notes by Graphic 45 this time in here. In fact, should we go ahead? Let's go ahead and make our hinge. Let's go ahead and get our hinge made. We won't get it attached, but we'll go ahead and get our hinge made. Let's get our hinge made. Um, which is 2 and 5 eighths by 9. Okay. And I'm going to use craft paper because that um, Love Notes looks beautiful with black and craft. So I'm going to use craft for my hinge. Plus it will make it easier for you guys to see what I'm doing. Okay, because sometimes it's hard to see with black. <coughs> okay, so what I say, two and five eighths. Okay, two and five eighths by nine. And I don't like that spot being there. So, oh yeah, you can watch them on your TV. Yeah, you sure can. I can watch YouTube videos on our TV too. Oh, you made the Joy's Christmas album, Geraldine? Oh, yes. Post it in the page. I would love to see it. I would love to see your album. Okay, two and five-eighths by nine. This is where you need a scoreboard. The second, ladies, I gotta grab it. Usually I just twist and pick it up, and I, I'm not doing that.
because I have it usually sitting right beside me on the floor and I just reach over grab it but maybe that's why I'm in the shape I'm in <laughs> okay so here we go are you guys ready are you guys ready to start scoring Okay, so anytime you score, you want to make sure, especially any type of hinge, you want to make sure that you hold this paper pretty still because if you let it get off and you do your next score line, you're going to have, you know, a bigger um, space than what you actually should have. So you want to make sure you hold this pretty good, okay? We're going to score at half an inch. And I always score twice, okay? Now, um, if you're using, you can use regular design paper to do this. Just make sure you check it first that it doesn't crack because we're going to be folding this, okay? So whatever paper you're using for this hinge, make sure that it's not going to crack on you. So check it first, okay? So half an inch, then we're going to score at three quarters. Okay, three quarters, one and a quarter, one and a quarter, one and three quarters, and two, and two. So we scored at half an inch, three quarters, one and a quarter, one and three quarters, and at two inches, okay? Now, anytime you score, you have a indented side and a bumpy side, okay? So you want to be on the bumpy side, okay? You want the bumpy side up towards you, okay? So look at it. There's an indented side, a valley, or the bumpy side, which is a mountain, okay? You want the mountain up towards you. You're going to grab your score pal tape. You have half an inch. You have, um, this is almost three quarters. This is, um, this three quarters is what's going to attach down to your album. Then you have quarter of an inch, half an inch, half an inch, quarter of an inch, and then a half an inch. Okay, you see these two half inches here that are, um, together. You're going to put score pal tape on the very first one. And when you put score pal tape down on a hinge like this, you want to keep your tape pretty straight. Because if you get your tape crooked, your hinge is probably going to be a little bit crooked. Okay? And I'll show you. Okay? So we have our almost three quarters of an inch right here. You have a quarter of an inch then you have half half quarter half so these two half inches right here you're applying your tape to the very first one this half inch we are going to stick down to this half inch and we're making a hinge for a pocket page to attach to this half inch here is we're going to attach our acetate pocket to and then this one here that we're going to form is going to have a pocket page and then this here is going to attach to our album and the, these quarter inches are gussets okay that gives us room in between our pocket pages so now 
you're going to fold on this line right after this score pal tape. That line that's right after that score pal tape. Fold on it and burnish. Okay. Take your tape off. Okay. Take your tape off. Stick it down. Okay. Stick your tape down. Now what you're going to do is you're going to grab that. You're pulling it back. Okay, you're pulling it back. So now what you have is that three quarters, quarter, quarter, half. Okay, we pulled it back on. You're pulling it back to where now we have half an inch like that. Okay. So now we have this half an inch. Now you're going to burnish this. You got to break down these fibers. So give it a good burnish. That's our hinge. Okay? That is our hinge. Now what you're going to do, I use quarter inch score pal tape on this hinge. You're going to apply your tape closer to the folded edge than the scored edge. The reason for that, if your page doesn't fit all the way on your hinge, your tape is not going to show. And I'll, I'll show you. Okay. Here's, here's our hinge. Okay. Here's our hinge. And I applied the tape closer to the folded edge than, than the scored edge, okay? Because that way, if your page doesn't go all the way on, your tape is not going to show, okay? And I done both sides. Now what you're going to do, you're going to taper just this hinge, just this hinge. Don't taper into any of this yet just your hinge and you're going just to the score line okay what this does it allows for easier um, page attachment we'll be putting a pocket page on this and when these are tapered it just makes it so much easier to put it on okay so much easier to put on okay so now what you're going to do on where we have, we have half inch on this side and three quarters of an inch on this side. On the half inch side, what you're going to do is you're going to fold on that and fold it towards your hinge. Okay. So now you have that. Do the same thing on the other side. But it's going to go underneath you because it's going to attach to our book. And I'll, I'll show you. <coughs> okay. Here's our half inch. Oops, sorry. Here's our half inch. And then we have a quarter of an inch. Then we have our hinge. You're folding on that quarter of an inch. So you're going to have an attachment here that's going to hook on this hinge, and this is a hinge too. Okay. Now this other one that's three quarters and our quarter, you're going to fold on that, but it's going to go back behind it. Okay. It's going to, this part right here is going to attach to our album. And see, then you're going to have a flip and a flip. Okay. Does that make sense, guys? Are you guys all still with me on this? So you have your hinges. Your hinges here. That three quarters is going to be folded back behind you. 
Okay. Let me show you. Here's our hinge. Okay. We attached the acetate pocket to one of the hinges and the other hinge gets this and it's attached to this side of our album. Okay. Okay. So now you can go ahead and put tape on the, the back side. Okay, we're putting tape on the back, that three quarters, almost three quarters of an inch goes back behind. So now we can put, apply our tape to that. And I'm going to put full coverage tape on this. Okay. I'm going to go right along my edge. And then I'll use my quarter inch. And what you may have to do is take your tape off a little bit, apply your quarter inch tape, and then put your um, your little pieces back down. Because you don't want to um, put your tape on top of your other tape. So then I'll just put this piece back down here like this. There. Now I'm going to taper that just a little bit, just to that score line. I'm just tapering it just a little bit. Okay. Just like that. So that will adhere down to our album, and then we'll have a flip and a flip. Did I... I think I've done the wrong side, ladies. Because that should have been... There's... A... Crap. I told you guys to uh, tape the wrong side. It's supposed to go like this. crap -olas. crap -olas. Because there's how it goes. So, how can we fix this? Well, when we put our paper down, I mean, we can put our paper right up to that. Or, well, that... Now, I'm just going to put my paper up to that. So I told you guys to tape the wrong side. Crap. Sorry about that, ladies. Darn it. So if you're watching the replay, don't do it. <laughs> Crap. Oh, yeah. Ding, ding, ding. Uh-oh. Mary needs help. What you need help with, Mary? Uh-oh, the hinge did you in. You're lost. Debbie's lost. The hinge got me. Okay. Guys. Let's just let's just do let's just do another one. It won't take very long. One, two, three, four, five. Two and five eighths by nine. All right, you're gonna put in your scoreboard. You're scoring at half an inch. You're gonna score at three quarters of an inch. 
one and a quarter. Okay. Oh, Brandy, you're using glue. Okay. Um, Brandy, since you're using glue, and any of you else that is using glue, so you will not put any um, glue down until we are ready to attach our pages or attach it to our book. Okay, hun? So then one and three quarters and score at two. Okay, so we scored it half an inch three quarters of an inch inch and a quarter inch and three quarters and two okay flip it over to the bumpy side yeah if you're using glue you know you use your glue to attach these two half inches but uh, brandy um, you won't so you're done with your hinge for now until we get ready to attach it to our book or attach um, the acetate pocket or the other pocket, okay? So you're good to go. <laughs> yeah, because using glue, you don't want you don't want to put anything down until you're ready to, to ready to attach it. So now I'm going to attach my score pile tape to that very first. You have two half inches that are together. Okay. Oops. Okay. So you have your three quarter. Here, let me do this. This one's almost three quarters, okay? Let's see. I can always erase it. This one's a half an inch. Half an inch. Okay. And then we have our gusset. So, um, I'll put a G and a G for gusset. Okay. There we go. You have your three quarter inch, quarter inch gusset. We applied our tape. You have these two half inches right here. Half inch, half inch. You applied tape to the first one. This half inch is going to attach to this half inch. Okay. So you're going to fold on this score line right after the score pile tape. So fold it. And burnish. Burnish, burnish, burnish. Okay. Stick your tape down. All right, take your tape off. Stick her down. Okay. Now, what you're doing is you're pulling back on this. Okay. You have your. We just stuck these two half inches together. You have a quarter of an inch, and then our three quarters of an inch. You're folding back on this line right here. Okay. Here's our two half inches that we just put together. We just stuck these two together. So you have a, a quarter and then you got our three quarters. So we're folding back. Okay. There's our half. There's our gusset. There's our gusset and our three quarters. If you flip it over to the other side there's our half inch two half inches that we just stuck together these two right here we just stuck those together okay that's a hinge so now what you're gonna do burnish this and you've got to break down those fibers a little bit guys you got to break them down okay <laughs> just kind of keep working it a little bit Okay, just kind of keep working. Okay. So now I'm going to apply my quarter inch score pile tape right on my hinge. I'm staying closer to the folded edge on that half inch that we stuck together. I'm doing 
both sides. Okay, both sides. And I'm staying closer to the scored edge, or I'm staying closer to the folded edge, not the score. Okay. And I'm going to taper that just to my score line. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Now, you have this. Okay. You have this. We have our quarter inch gusset, quarter inch gusset. What you're going to do, you're going to fold. You're going to do this. Here's our hinge we just made by sticking those two half inches together. You're going to fold right on that quarter inch gusset line. You're going to fold them up towards your... Okay. Here's what you should have now. Okay. There's our two half inches that we put together. And you have your quarter inch gusset, quarter inch gusset. Okay. Okay. Does there, everybody understand that part? Give me some hearts or give me some likes. <laughs> I know I'm not supposed to be asking that. Facebook is uh, says we're not supposed to ask for hearts and likes anymore. But still, you guys can go ahead and give them to me. <laughs> okay. This is what it should look like right now. You have this piece here, your quarter inch gusset, and I see all the hearts and likes, love it. Quarter inch gusset, okay. Now what we're going to do, you have your three quarter one here, you have your half inch one. That is a, we're attaching our acetate pocket to this one here. We're attaching a pocket to this one. The three-quarter inch one is the one that we are attaching down to our album. Now, fold it like this. Okay. You should have your half an inch. You, my G's are gone now. You should have your quarter inch gusset, quarter inch gusset, and your half inch. Your three-quarter inch is folded underneath. Okay. Half inch, gusset, gusset. The three-quarter inch is folded underneath you. Okay. It's going to attach in our book just like this. Okay. You have your half inch, gusset, gusset. Three quarter inch is on the back side. That's what we're going to tape. Okay. So flip it over. This is the side that we're going to tape right here. Okay. Oh, you're so welcome, Janie. Did that, did that help you guys? Bunny, did that help you? Okay, I'm, I'm going to use my quarter inch, so I'm just going to take that little piece off. And then add my quarter, and then I'll put my other piece back on. I won't take this because I don't want it to be sticky yet. Not yet. And then I'm just going to taper this just a little bit. So see, this is going to be stuck down to our book. Here, 
here's our here's our book that's going to be stuck down to your book and then here is going to be your page for your po your pockets here is your page for your acetate pocket okay you have a quarter inch gusset on each side of this hinge that will allow for room okay Oh, I'm so glad that helped you guys out. I'm so glad. So I know um, it can it can be, you know, if you're not used to doing anything like that, it it can be kind of confusing. Okay. <coughs> <clears throat> All right. Now I have I have a question for you guys. Um, I'm I'm done for tonight. Tomorrow night I'm I usually go live inside my um, scrapping pages and time group. I know there's a lot of you on here that's inside the group. Do you guys mind? If we go live tomorrow night on scrapping it up, you know, same place, same time, and um, work on this tomorrow night. I just won't have no live video inside the group. It would be, you know, we would be working on this. Do you guys mind? And that way, tomorrow night, we can discontinue our journey. Okay, Bunny says it's good with her. Okay, Bunny. <laughs> okay, let's do. And I will post it inside the group um, tomorrow that we're not having class inside my group tomorrow. That we're going to have class on scrapping it up and we're, we're still working on the notepad holder. Okay. So we will continue this. Yeah, I, I need to go get on my moist heat pad. Yes, I'm feeling it. And we will continue this journey tomorrow night. Same place. Same time. And if you know of any of your friends that w might want to learn how to make this. Um, you know. By all means, you know what to do. I, I'm not allowed to say anymore what to do, but you guys know what to do. <laughs> Go sprinkle some dust to your friends. <laughs> yeah, Facebook is really cracking down. Really cracking down on what we can and cannot do. Just a minute. So, same time place, or same time, same um, place tomorrow night, 7 o'clock Central Standard Time. Uh, yeah, thanks, Will. And um, I will be working with the Love Notes with Graphic 45. So um, if you guys have any questions about this, hashtag um, replay, ask your question, and I will get back to you guys, okay? Oh, you, you guys are so welcome. Yes, I'm going to go rest for a little bit. Yes, we will see you girls tomorrow night. So the fun starts tomorrow. We get to decorate. That's the fun part. <laughs> okay. So you guys have a good rest of your evening. And have a good day tomorrow. And we'll see you girls tomorrow night. Bye, As, ladies. Oh, Will said bye, ladies. <laughs> He's in here. He's getting ready to leave. So, Okay, have a good evening, girls. As always, keep scrapping. Bye-bye.